Tim, if we start with the first half, at 1-0 at half time, um, did you think on the balance of play we deserved to go in level? Um, well, I didn't really think Linfield created much. I um, thought we looked a bit maybe nervy. I mean, these games, I've played enough of them. Um, these games, especially in the first half, take time to sell. Looked like a bit of a kick and rush game to start off. Linfield maybe settled a little bit better. Uh, and 100% it was a penalty. We'll hold our hands up, we'll give away a, a really stupid penalty. They score, you go in 1 0 down. Um, but what you got to do is lift the players again and, and look at the positives. And the one thing we said is, right, boys, we're going to go out here and we're going to get the first goal. And that's what we did. We got forward and well, probably one of the only times, great ball. Paddy uh, does brilliant, gets down the line, puts a great ball in, and, and what a header, header by Jay. And for me, the whole second half was, was just us. Um, now, you may have viewers who are watching this now and they'll want to tweet or say whatever, but for me, you know, over the last number of weeks, that's certainly a far better performance. Players playing for the jersey, flying into tackles, winning headers, and a, a lapse of concentration with 30 seconds to go in normal time. I mean, if, if I'm being honest, I thought there was only going to be one winner. I, it looked like we were the one that we were on the ascendancy most of the second half. And, and pushing them feet back and, and, and getting balls and they were just sort of putting balls in behind us and, and hoping for something but um, a, a major, major talking point has got to be when Bobby Burns is, is three on goal and for me it's it's, a, it's an absolute shock in the season. I've just spoken to the radio, I've just done the radio, I've just spoken to BBC and they've all agreed and I'm sure everybody in, this, in the ground has agreed. It's, it's a stonewall free kick and your man gets another yellow card and he's off the pitch. And for whatever reason it isn't given, I don't know. Would you welcome the introduction of R into the Irish Premier League? Well, something's going to have to be done. You know, again, I, as I'm saying this, people will be watching this video, writing their comments below, saying, oh, you're talking the same amount of rubbish. But everybody that was here today would have seen that that was a clear mistake, mm -hmm. which, which, it, which it has been. Bobby Burns has knocked it by the last man. He's taken him out, safe for ta tackle, taken him out completely. And there's not even a free kick given. No one that Finlayson's on a, a yellow and he would have been on a second so the referee has a call to me. We saw a change of personnel at half time, Hervoy Plum who started <laughs> after being out injured was replaced by Sean Murray, was that a tactical change or was that a forced change? Uh, forced, uh, Hervoy's been, been kind of struggling and I thought Sean Murray was, was excellent when he came on, he, he ran himself into the ground, um, was fantastic, Hervoy was struggling with, it, with his ankle. Um, we're trying to get players back as quickly as we can. Fizzy's are doing a great job. He managed to get Marcus Kane back today. Um, he came off as well, injured. But we're, 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 we're trying our best. I thought we had a, a, a really good team on the pitch today. As I say, you know, to, to come away today without, with nothing, um, it's, just, it's just sickening. I just, I just feel sorry for the players, feel sorry for the fans. Um, they turned up in the numbers today and we just asked them to just stick with us because sooner or later it will turn. And you've maybe touched on this already, but whether Paddy felt that he, he wanted to atone for the penalty or what, but it was a great play from him. A textbook cross in. Jay Donnelly looked sharp all game. Textbook header from him. And I really felt at that point in the game that the balances were starting to turn in our favour, didn't it? Yeah, just little things where you're waiting for something to drop for us on the edge of the box. Jay had a couple of shots. The keeper made a couple of saves. Um, we, had a, we had a corner that Rory nearly got in the end of as well. And you're just waiting for something just to, to bounce around and something to fall for us in the... In the box, they were scrambling last minute, defending them field at times, and um, but it, it's just it's just so bitterly disappointing. It, it, as I say, I've just a sickening feeling in my stomach. It's it's really hard one to take, and but what you've got to do now is you've got to lift the players. You know, you just got to do it. We've gone through a real, real rough patch, but the last two performances, I feel against Clemville and Linfield, we've started to, to show what we're, we're what we're about again. We probably should have won the game against Clemville. We created five or six really good chances, and I don't think they created anything that they had a shot. Again, uh, it was going out for a corner and hits Shannon Clues on the back and goes in the net. But again, we showed there, we showed the fight and the, and the spirit. And let's hope 2023 will, will be a lot better. Yeah, I was going to say there, the neutral will probably say we were better against Cliftonville than, than Cliftonville were. And they'll probably say that we dominated large parts of the game here today. Does it make it harder whenever you're sort of you're, you're putting in good performances and not winning the games to lift the players? Or, or? No, it's just, it's just frustrating. You know, it's frustrating because you're wanting it to turn sooner rather than later. And, and when, when major decisions are given against you as well, it, it, it is a little bit of frustration. But listen, we, we've, we've got to take our medicine. We've got to just get on with it. Um, can't sulk about it. We just, we've, got to, we've got to address it. Um, and we've got to try and lift the players' spirits again, get back on the horse, and, and hopefully try and you know, win on New Year's Day.